In this recording, we'll deal with the fundamental concept in algebra, the absolute value. I'll show you the definition of the absolute value and some of its important properties. So if you're given two real numbers, x and y, so they are arbitrary numbers, we say that the absolute value, so this is the sign we use for absolute value, this means the absolute value of x minus y is equal to the distance between x and y on the number line. Now, we're talking here about the number line as opposed maybe to the coordinate plane. Okay, when you have x and y in a coordinate system. So this is a number line. So if you have a, a line, arbitrary line, going from left to right, and we have 0 somewhere on the number line, we can have x here, for example, and we have y here. So this distance between x and y is the absolute value of x minus y. And here, I have chosen x and y to be on the right of 0, which means that they are positive uh, numbers. But they don't have to be positive numbers. They could very well be both negative, or one of them could be negative, the other positive. It doesn't matter where x and y are on the number line. The distance, the distance between the two of them, is the absolute value of x minus y. Okay? So, because of this definition, we can also say that the absolute value of x minus y is equal to the absolute value of y minus x. Why? Because the distance between x and y is obviously the distance between y and x. Okay? Now, also because of this definition, we can say that the absolute value of x alone can be written as the absolute value of x minus 0. And this would be the distance between uh, x and 0, again, on the number line. So if you have maybe x, let's choose x here on the left of 0, which means that x is negative. So the distance here between uh, x and 0 is the absolute value of x. Again, here it doesn't matter where x is on the number line. It could be positive, it could be 0 itself, or it could be negative. Because of the definition, we can actually pick some numbers you're familiar with if we put, for example, x equal 2, for example, the absolute value of 2 is the distance between 0 and 2, and this is just 2 on the number line. If you choose uh, x equal negative 2, then the absolute value of negative 2 is equal to 2 as well. Why? Because, for example, if you uh, pick 2, to be, uh, let's say here, so the distance uh, b uh, between 0 and 2 is the absolute value of 2 and is equal to 2 itself. Because then you have maybe 1 here and then you have 2. And here, if we take uh, negative 1 as maybe being here and we take negative 2 as being here, then this distance between negative 2 and 0, that's also the absolute value of negative 2, which is equal to 2 as well. Okay, why? Because the distance between 0 and negative 1 is 1, and then between negative 1 and 2 is another 1, so together it gives you a distance of 2. 
So again, uh, if you remember earlier, I said that absolute value of x minus y is equal to the absolute value of y minus x. So because of the definition, we can also say that the absolute value of x is equal to the absolute value of negative x. You know, and then uh, here we don't really know exactly what this would yield outside the absolute value because we don't know the sign of x. We need to know the sign of x. You know, and again here you can we can say that the absolute value of two is equal to the absolute value of negative two, and we know that this is equal to two. Now this is going to lead me to the next concept in absolute value, which is if uh, we know the sign of x, like for example, if we know that x is greater than zero or maybe equal to zero, then the absolute value of x going to be equal to x itself. So in this case, we can take out x out, you know, of the absolute value, we can take it outside the notation of the absolute value and say that the absolute value of x is equal to x. On the other hand, if x is a negative number, then we can say that the absolute value of x is now negative x. And I'm going to give you examples of this because it's not always easy to understand why we have here a negative sign. So in the case when x is positive, we can choose x equal to. In that case, the absolute value of 2 we already know is equal to 2. But in the case here, if you use this case, x is a negative number, because we say x is less than 0, it's a negative number, we can choose x equal negative 2, and then the absolute value of negative 2 is not equal to negative 2. We cannot just write negative 2, which was x. So we need to write that this is equal to minus negative 2, which is equal to 2. And this comes from the definition of the absolute value. We say that the absolute value is a distance, so it cannot be a negative number. It has to be zero or positive. That's why if you know the number to be negative, we need to apply a negative sign to it. You have a negative here, by the way. We need to apply a negative sign to it in order to make sure that it is a positive number. In general, when we, uh, when we uh, try to find the absolute value of negative 2, uh, we don't uh, write that this is equal to minus negative 2. We just write it's equal to 2 because we already know that the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. It's very clear. But if we were dealing with a variable uh, like x, we cannot just say that the absolute value of x is equal to x. Uh, we could be making a mistake if uh, x actually is negative, that is not right. If x is positive, yes, the absolute value of x is equal to x. Or even if x is equal to 0, we can also write that. But when x is negative, and we don't know the actual value of x, we need to apply a negative sign to x to make sure it becomes a positive number. I hope you guys have been able to follow me with this, but if you have to take something away from this, is to now that the absolute value is a distance. By knowing that it's a distance between two numbers, then it will be much easier to uh, solve the questions regarding the absolute value. Okay? In the next recording, I'm going to be dealing with uh, the concept of square root and how the square root is related to the absolute value. So thank you for watching this video about the absolute value, and I'll see you in the next video.